everybody, it's Gerb Nerd, and in this video, I'm gonna be discussing gerbil diet and nutrition. A gerbil's diet should consist of several different items, starting off with a quality mix as a base. Mixes encourage foraging, which is a gerbil's natural instinct when it's mealtime. I use Higgins Sunburst, but watch out for the excessive amount of sunflower and pumpkin seeds. It's also important to include pellets with their mix. Pellets are like a mix, but concentrated into little blocks. I personally like oxbow. Pellets help prevent selective feeding. When an animal gets picky about what they eat, they tend to go for their favorite parts and leave out what might be important nutrition. You should give about one tablespoon, approximately 10 grams or 35 ounces of food mix and one pellet per gerbil once a day. However, the quantity varies on how much your gerbils are consuming. Check the back of the food bag to make sure the protein and fat content meets their needs. Gerbils should receive 12% of protein and 7% of fat, while elderly gerbils should receive 10% of protein and 4% of fat. In your pet's food, try to avoid any oxidants, ethexaquin, BHT, GMO, any other preservatives, and artificial colors. These can cause cancer and other problems. It's hard to find food that doesn't at least have one of these items listed in its ingredients. Just make sure the food does not contain onions, leeks, garlic, or anything acidic. While preparing their mix, pick out the corn, peas, pumpkin, and sunflower seeds. These should be given as a treat every other day or less. You can either use a bowl or scatter feed. Scatter feeding is more natural and suggested. If using a bowl, I suggest something ceramic so it doesn't tip over easily or get chewed up. Place it in an area where they can't kick bedding inside like on top of a shelf or hideout. Keep their food away from their water bottle or bowl and make sure you clean the bowl out daily. Keep an eye out every day for old food and take it out if not eaten. Gerbils should receive fresh fruits and vegetables to eat. They are rich in vitamins and nutrients and also help with bowel movement. Gerbils can have bell peppers, carrots, cucumbers, broccoli, romaine lettuce, apples, bananas, pears, strawberries, blueberries, and melons, such as watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. Fruits and vegetables should only be given a few times throughout the week. The more juice it contains, such as grapes and melon, the smaller the amount should be given to prevent diarrhea, which leads to dehydration. It's best to cut them up into small pieces and serve in a separate container. This way you can control the dosage and observe how much your gerbils are actually eating. Gerbils can be given dried fruits as well. Some plantation is unsafe for gerbils. A rule of thumb is avoid anything acidic, such as pineapple, oranges, and tomato. I just avoid the pits, seeds, and leaves of fruit and vegetables altogether. Some of them are not safe. Make sure the fruits and veg you serve doesn't have any bug repellent sprays or anything poisonous on it. Always wash before serving. Avoid canned vegetables and fruits as they most likely have added salts, sugars, dyes, preservatives, and other unnecessary additives that are harmful. If you wish to soften the vegetables so it's easier for your dribbles to eat, boil them in hot water and do not add anything to it. You can also sparingly give gerbils mealworms, crickets, and other insects live or dry as these are good sources of protein. Yes, gerbils eat them in the wild. Plain oats, seeds, nuts, and even yogurt are excellent sources of fiber as long as there is no salt, sugar, or flavorings. There are so many other foods your gerbils can try as long as you do research on it first. It's vital your gerbils receive fresh, clean, cold water 24 seven. You can give them bottled or tap water, just make sure it doesn't have any harsh chemicals or bacteria in it. I don't suggest well water, no matter if it's treated or not. Use either a water bottle or a bowl. If you use a bottle, be aware that they tend to leak or just suddenly stop producing water. Check every day that water is still coming out. If your gerbils never drink out of a water bottle before, there's a good chance it may take them a little while to figure out how it works. You can try a tiny bit of peanut butter or honey not on it but next to the ball, and they'll eventually realize there is water there. Again, if you are using a bowl, purchase one that's heavy and not plastic so your gerbils can't chew or knock it over, and place them somewhere that substrate won't easily be flung into it. Always refresh their water once a day at least. Thoroughly scrub the container out with just a dab of soap and hot water in a brush. Be sure there is no soap residue left behind. It's also recommended to let the nozzle sit in vinegar to remove calcium buildup, then rinse well with water. And that concludes the video. Remember to check the description for more information. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.